the clinometer, the trail tool that's gonna take the guesswork out of your trail work. The inclinometer, aka the clinometer or the clino, or the measure the hill slope thingamabob jig. This is always set at zero, and then this moves around it as you look at a given area. So then you, you look down this sight hole like that. So how it works is you want this, your eye, and where you mark the trail to all be level. That would be zero. And so you mark the tree and at your eye level. Then you go walk a ways and you use this with your eyes. So everything was set at zero when you marked the tree. You walk up or down the hill. If you're not sure, that's what this will tell you. So then you look and you line up with that thing. So you look down this try to line it up with that. So we'll move over here so you can know you're right on it. And it's about zero, which is good. So then you know that from here to there, it's essentially flat for a segment, but you can tell over here that that, you can just eyeball that and tell that it's just slightly lower. So then you go over here I've never done it in a mirror, essentially, like this. And it's, in fact, yeah, like 2% two, two from here. So basically, you just do this the whole way through the trail. You mark, I tie my knots on the side that the trail is going to be on, so then you know that the corridor is here. Essentially, I'm just trying to keep it under 5% if I'm going for an easy trail. I'm trying to make it even intermediate or a blue trail of six, seven percent is is still pretty hard. And that's the thing, if you eyeball all this stuff, it you always think that it's easier than it really is. Then you get on a bike and you try it and it is freaking wah, like super hard. So this thing'll do it. This this'll make sure that you're you're keeping it in those parameters that you've set. And so if you're doing the trail, then you want to be the one measuring it. It's not gonna work if somebody else looks through this because it's going to be off right so always keep these as even as possible and then you go back and check it as you go and then yeah you're golden you can set your goals and, and be more likely to hit that so a good one of these is about 80 bucks Sunto makes one that's this and a compass combo it's a bit bulkier it's like twice as wide as this uh, this is an off-brand thing I already broke one in it, the oil in it or whatever, it exploded. So don't leave it in your car, especially if you live in Borneo. And then, yeah, get the Sunto one, it's about 80 bucks. It's definitely worth it if you're doing this kind of stuff. The inclinometer takes the guesswork out of your trail work. <laughs>